Hi, and welcome to the Mullen Market. My name is Brian, and today I'm going to show you how to build a walnut bed top laptop stand. This bad boy showcases a couple of really cool woodworking techniques that seem to be pretty popular amongst woodworkers and makers alike. So if that interests you, stick around. Here is a jig I made to help drill this one and a half inch Forstner bit through the walnut tabletop nice and cleanly. There is a plywood backer which you can see here shortly that assists in the cleanliness. The legs are turned with a small taper but I also wanted them to stand out and downward so I needed this jig. Confirming the fit and the stance of the legs, I begin making the wedges that will lock these legs into place. I've never done this technique before, so I hope this works out. I can lose your present, the reading bench. She's probably gonna use it in other ways, not to sit on, like sit down like this on it. So should I make it low? After quickly squaring up the tabletop, it's time for a little extra insurance in the form of a couple of Padoof bow ties. One in there, one in there. Here I make the lines necessary to make these bow ties. These will help ensure make the table stay together no matter what. My doubt only comes from my less than stellar Numo Grip 3000. It's not a failure, but the pressure on the outside two pads is not as much as in the middle, resulting in a loose joint. So I'll have to look into that. I glue these down and I use an X-Acto knife to mark out each bow tie in their exact location.
Here I am setting up to router out most of the waste for the bow tie pocket. I'll clear out both pockets close to my lines and then I'll chisel. Chisel, 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 To those lines. Ensuring a close fit will leave you with plenty of peace of mind with those concerning joints. Bow ties are a great way to help stabilize weak points in wood and I just haven't been able to stop using them since I started. And when it fits, perfect. Ain't nothing like it. Now just confirming the fit and the stance of those legs before drilling and cutting out the reliefs for the wedges. I decided that going about 90 degrees off of the glue joint makes the most sense without damaging or possibly damaging the glue joint. I make sure to take my bandsaw cut beyond the hole that I just drilled so that I'm creating a flexible joint, not a fragile point. So now comes the moment of truth. Will the leg wedge at a tapered angle end up working? I trim the wedges to as close as the top of the leg diameter as possible. I tape off the legs just to help reduce cleanup later. Time to hammer the first wedge home. And success. Looks like everything is gonna work out just fine. Repeat this process three more times, then we're moving on. Okay, well it looks like all the wood that needed to be inserted into other wood has worked. And now just needs to be trimmed and properly cleaned up. Unfortunately, I have forgotten how to use a saw and I dug about an eighth of an inch into the tabletop. So instead of getting upset, I decided that a slight taper on the outsides of the table would be a great fix and even a nice subtle detail.
So I don't have a ton of footage of this, but this is the tapering jig I made for a table a while ago. And all I'm using it for here is cutting the bottoms of the legs parallel to basically the top side of this table. Um, they're not all perfectly in alignment, but what this does is it gets a perfectly parallel foot to the top side. After I was done making excuses for myself, all that was left was to route the edges, sand this bad boy, and figure out some way to put some laser engraving on this thing. Okay, finally starting to see the finish line. A little laser action while I fill some small holes is always a really fun place to be in a project. Breaking the edges with a round over is just what the doctor ordered. And here it is. Always a little bit more sanding, followed by a little bit more sanding. Definitely helps to have a little bit of air to help clean up and then a little bit of General Finishes Wax. And this one's a wrap. A bed top, laptop stand. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.